They're Indiana values, hard work, community, keeping your word. And there's a candidate who shares those values, who thinks differently than those who've spent decades in Washington, Barack Obama. Politics didn't lead me to working people. Working people led me to politics. He got a start in Illinois as a community organizer, helping neighborhoods devastated by steel plant closings. And I worked with churches to help those workers get back on their feet. For two decades in public life, he stood up to powerful interests on behalf of people, taking tough stands, bringing parties together to get things done. It says something about the president he'd be. It's not enough just to change political parties in the White House. We've got to change how our politics works. Now he's visiting cities and towns across Indiana. I meet Hoosiers who are struggling, jobs disappearing, families facing foreclosure cost of everything from health care to tuition to groceries to gas at the pump going up and up and up. And at each stop he trusts us with the truth. We could suspend the gas tax for six months, but that's not going to bring down gas prices long term. That's typical of how Washington works. Let's find some short term quick fix that we can say we did something even though we're not really doing anything. We've got to go out to the oil companies and look at their price gouging. We've got to start using less oil, and that means raising fuel efficiency standards on cars and developing alternative fuels. It's a new kind of politics with a plan to bring our troops home, turn around this economy, deliver real tax relief for the middle class, and bring back some hope at a time when it's desperately needed. That's why May 6th is so important. We've got a choice. We can go about doing the same old things with the same old folks in the same old ways and somehow hope we're going to get a different result. Or we can go ahead and try something entirely different. You and I together, we'll change this country and change the world. I'm Barack Obama and I approve this message.